I was just looking at the receipt and there's one product that I am absolutely shocked by. Yeah, sorry about that, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello. Hi Mrs B. Hi. Welcome to another Cheap versus Steep video. This is part of a playlist in which Mrs B? In which we make the same product, one using cheap ingredients and mm. one using expensive ingredients. Yes. Almost. And when you say product, I assume you mean recipe. Oh yeah. It's very posh of you. <laughs> the aim is if you can just find that you can get the budget one working idea. We always want the budget to win, but like if you can just make a few tweaks and go, is there something essential that really made that a difference? Mm -hmm. If you can kind of get that balance right, that is the actual goal here, and just to see ultimately, it's a fun experiment, isn't it? It is, it and, is fun. And you guys seem to like it too, so been out to the shops. It was a fun little trip to the shop. I went to uh, a very upmarket supermarket, and then I went into, well, I thought I was in Lidl, and this lady was saying to me, oh, you're doing some baking? I was like, oh, I do some videos on the internet where I basically am gonna pair in two supermarkets with the other, and obviously it'd be really interesting to see how uh, this supermarket, um, Waitrose, compares with uh, Live Lidl. And she's like, you're in Audi, love. <laughs> like, oh yeah, sorry. Chloe's upstairs who will be our head taste chief because she likes pancakes. And I thought that was quite a cool idea. Mm -hmm. um, it's pancake day in the UK soon. Uh, and uh, we're making American style ones. Yes. Because I, I, did, I did think we were gonna be making crepes. Being... Making what, sir? <laughs> the pancakes that we're gonna do are gonna be the American puffy ones, a bit more fluffy, hopefully. I like and I thought they'd be a, bit, a little bit more variant on the ingredients. We did get the bacon, blueberries, maple syrup. Ooh. So pretty stonking, but of course, pancakes are for all year round, not just for pancake day. So hopefully you guys will wanna take some inspiration and give it a go. All right, we've got some bowls ready. We're just gonna run through the ingredients as we go. But as a summary, Mrs. B, how much was the cheap shop? So the cheap shop was 12 pounds and 22 pence. Nice. And as a comparison, the yep. steep? 27 pounds and 54 pence. Okay. Wow, that's a huge difference. It is, it's just over double, but did the crazy working out sheet. And as you find with some of the ingredients, like the bag of flour, we'll show you that in a minute. If you ratio it up to actually how much food you actually get, for example, you get 15 eggs or 10 rashes of bacon or whatever, the true cost, if you wanted the same weight, is 37 pound 55 Ooh. of the steep. Okay, so that is not just double, that's three and a half times more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so that's the cheap flour going in, which for a 1.5 kilogram bag was 45p, right? Right. It's equivalent that you've got there yeah. for 1.1 kilos, which is a really random weight. I'm sure that's gone down a little bit. It's one pound 80. Whoa. And there's nothing crazy about this flour. That's just flour. That is 5.4 times the price for the equivalent weight. So it better be good. Doesn't look any different. Next up, we need baking powder, right? Look, they look like exactly the same thing. They do. This one is 160 grams. Right. This one is 170 grams. In fact, oh. it is literally, it looks like the exact same. same tub. So they probably put less in the tub. Yeah. That's sneaky. The cheap yeah. is 59p. Yeah. And the steep for 10 grams left is one pound. So the ratio, ratio in that up is nearly double the price. <laughs> it's great. Oh my goodness. So exactly, it's baking powder. I know. You can't get much. Uh, hello, baking powder? <laughs> Wayne's World? No. Wayne's World? No. no. You can't get much like different variations of bacon can get in it. <laughs> That's the point. If they're both hard to open, it must be from it the same place. It must be the same factory. Cheers. It looks exactly the same. Same white powder. Same white powder, Mrs. B. <laughs> you <all> right? <laughs> that is nuts, isn't it? I mean, That's it's not crazy. nuts, it's baking powder, but it's nuts. How different from baking powder? Exactly. Be? I don't know. It's all going to dissolve, isn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe it, we'll find out in the puffiness. Yes. We need a tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Now, Mrs. B there has got golden caster sugar from the expensive supermarket, a 500 gram bag. Looks lovely. pound fifty, And a standard bag of sugar there. Couldn't find golden caster sugar there. I don't know if they were out of stock maybe, but it was 65p for a kilo. And that works out 4.6 times more in cost for the ingredients if they were ratioed up with a size. Up. Yeah, so literally if you had, you need two of those to make that. To make that. Ooh, which is bonkers. insane. Oh no, ah, it's uh, falling. What? Look. What are you doing? <laughs> it was just randomly pouring out the little rip. Oh no. Oh no. This wouldn't happen with the steep. No, it didn't happen with the steep. It didn't. No. There you go, 4.6 the price. 
but you get to keep it all. This is normally extraordinary difference, mm -hmm. uh, and it is always a bit that wow factor. When we did the brownies, well, the first one we've done on the playlist, I think, we saw the difference. Let's just crack these open. For one pound 18, 15 eggs. But that, yeah. I don't like using these eggs. I know, but they I know. do say we are caged and you can get the next level up, which is about an extra 30p, I think. But Mrs. B's eggs there, that sounds so wrong. Look at the, oh, mine are much bigger. I know, I know, but it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. £3.20 for those six. Okay. But, like but we found before, they do make a difference. Get and in the middle eggs is and good. And you're making a difference to the hens as well. If you wanted 15 of the real posh eggs in price comparison to those ones, mm. best to go somewhere in the middle, you would be paying 6.7 times the price for 15 of them. But um, we just need the three, all right? Yeah. <laughs> and we got a lot of frittatas for the rest of the week. Yorkshire puddings tomorrow. Oh yeah, baby! Suspense is killing you, isn't it? Cheap versus steep, Amy, which one, hmm? You're a steep kind of guy, aren't you, Boston, huh? On to the milk next, um, we have gone naughty here. The budget supermarket did have some Jersey, like this is Jersey milk, which is like full fat, but it's almost like, it's kind like of like cream. cream. The really interesting thing with this, they're both one litre bottles. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Uh, but they're only a difference of 95p and one pound 25. Oh, that's not much at all. So it's only uh, like literally 30% difference. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had this before. I think that one's richer. Yeah. Mm Slightly. Slightly. Yeah, there's a bit more depth like to it. Like creamier taste. Yes, yeah, creamy. But th that one's still pretty creamy. Sheep is coming together now nicely. And the steep, here we go, nice. Two ramekins uh, for our butter, which we're gonna melt in the microwave. We've got some salted butter. Mrs. B's got there, uh, one pound 48 for 250 grams. Also 250 grams, but for three pounds, so basically double the price is some uh, salted butter again. Save us having to put a pinch of salt in, all right? And this is from cows grazed on the lush grass of Normandy. Mineral rich salt marshes, along with our Jersey cream. Oh! I know, let's buy the most reflective new microwave we can. <laughs> you choose it, not me. I know. It's so hard when I buy appliances. So I'm like, oh yeah, but will that work in a video? I'm like, we just need a microwave for the house, Barry. <laughs> Literally, this one's got a mirrored front on it. Ah! We're melting butter. We have actually got a cheap versus steep whisk as well, accidentally. That is a double oh, the yeah. price of this, this was. Oh, anyhow. Oh, is that a difference in that colour? <gasps> it's them blooming yolks again, isn't it? Leave that to stand. This is B. Yes. You like your bacon, right? Oh, yes. Check this out. I could have gone 40p cheaper on this bacon. Oh. Um, Do you remember that massive, yes, like, vacuum packed? Pack. Yeah. And that was just, yeah. Gristle. So for a little bit more, this was 10 rashers of bacon uh, for £1.25. Okay. Mrs. B there has some organic bacon. Mm hmm. £4.50. You're joking. £4.50 for £4. Si 50. six rashers. Okay, mm -hmm. so you get 10. That is six times the price. Six okay. times. I don't like cheap bacon. Yeah. But I don't think I would ever pay four pounds, whatever you said. You, that's right, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. But this is, this is, I would eat that. I mean, we'll find out. Well, this is just like obviously the garnish for the pancakes. We're going for bacon uh, and blueberries, but let's get this cooked up. Just brought the batter under some light here and you can see the difference. The cheap looks like pure white, like glue, and this looks sort of golden and naughty. That difference is crazy. Any comments on the bacon as you've opened it? Well, there's hardly any fat on that. There's quite a bit on that. You might have to crisp that right up. Mrs B likes extremely crisp bacon. I like it kind of like just cooked and soft and a little crisp, but... She's winning this argument, okay? <laughs> the bacon needs to be cooked in oil and we have got vegetable oil and vegetable oil. They're both one litre. Uh, and the difference is one pound nine versus one pound 80. One There's no, pound nothing crazy about it. No. It's just vegetable oil. 65% more in price. Right. If you just wanted the vegetable yeah. oil from the other shop. What do you think about that oil situation? Well, I think it doesn't really matter. It's oil at the end of the day. Can't be much difference, can it? <laughs> this is where Mrs B and I disagree. I would never cook bacon to this extent. I love it like that. Cheap bacon, steep bacon. Any uh, thoughts? Mm, just the colour, really. We cooked it for the same amount of time. It just looks, that looks quite golden. Yeah. 
So the bacon's done. The blueberries we've got. I've got some wonky blueberries. Okay, yeah. this is quite a trend thing with supermarkets where they give you like wonky ingredients that they would normally sometimes discard. Oh, I think it's quite. Don't have a wonky blueberry though. I don't know. 125 grams for wonky blueberries. Yeah. 89 pence. Bargain. You have there. Yeah, I have essential Waitrose blueberries. Yeah. 150 grams. They are two pounds for the organic blueberries. But you actually get 150 grams as opposed to 125 grams of wonky. Yeah, but how much did you say? Two pounds? Yeah. Two pounds. So it's around double. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, like you say, they're not, they don't look wonky, do they? Look at that. And they both came from Chile. What does that tell you? They were on the same boat. Same boat. Same box. Yeah. Scoop. One scoop. For wonky. Which, one scoop. <laughs> Maple syrup. Now, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't think they sold that in the cheap supermarket whenever I've been there. I've not spotted yeah. it. Maple syrup can be extremely, even more expensive than we've gone here, okay? This was the one on the lit, on the receipt oh, really? that I was like, I cannot believe the price. Yeah, it. you can get it even more so than this, but this, this is strong enough anyway. So they're both 250 mil. And even for the cheap, you can get some alternative to maple syrups that are a little bit cheaper as well, but they only had this as maple syrup. My backup was actually getting golden syrup. Okay. I think people would have killed me if I couldn't find it, so luckily we did. But that still was £3.49. What you have in your hand there is 250 mils, but that is £6.99. So it's literally double the price. Double. And that's Canadian as well? Yeah, oh, okay. it says on there. Produce I was going to say, this, this is pure 100% Canadian, but that is okay. Um, but you are paying £3.49 more for the same amount. This looks like a fancy little gin bottle. <laughs> they look exactly the same colour. I, I don't know if this is going to be worth it, you know. You're paying for the fancy gin bottle. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Pancakes might not look perfectly similar. Ah, oh, that has thickened up by letting it rest, actually, to be fair. We cook them for about, is it two minutes or so until the bubbles appear? Then we flip them over. Um, Mine's gone, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, I want this huge pancake. Yours, look, yours has gone like good puffage. Good puffage, mate. High five. Woo! Oh, nice. Go on, Mrs. B. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's good. Flip. Just trust it. Oh. Go on. Yes, my oh, friend. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looks good. Look, I've got some good puffage on this too. We'll just stack and load them and repeat. And uh, we'll see you in a minute. Thank you. It smells amazing. Just jumping back to this, um, we've swapped around. The cheap uh, is cooking so much puffier, they're over there, than the steep. Like, these are way thinner. So these are the cheap pancakes. We've got our crispy bacon, uh, the wonky blueberries which I've just washed uh, that are perfectly rounded. The only difference is at the bottom of the tub there is no hole for water to escape. This is our cheap golden syrup. Look at that. Nice. There we go. These look a lot thinner though than your cheap ones. Yeah they do. Pouring away pound notes there Mrs B. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, I mean, they both look awesome, don't they? They do. Right, let's get in our pancake connoisseur. Chloe, what makes a good pancake? The taste is the best thing. The taste? Mm. Well, this is hopefully going to be tasting similar so that we mm. kind of sway towards getting the cheaper ingredients. Well, let's find out, huh? And what makes a good dog biscuit? Thank you. We are oh, going everything. for steep first. Mm. Mmm, they are. I was really worried about them. They look quite flat. I thought they might be quite biscuity. Yeah, but they're not. Oh my gosh, they are they're, really nice. They're light, airy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've actually never tried maple syrup with bacon before, and it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the pancakes. They're yeah, so mm. soft and. Well, I could keep eating them all day. I know. Like they are that good. Oh yeah. Oh. Another start. Ready, Chloe? Mm -hmm. You want to attack it? <laughs> it's going in. It's a tough life, isn't it? That bacon is chewy. Mm. <laughs> they are fluffier, though, look. Not keen on the bacon. That's a pancake. You can't yeah. deny. It's a little tougher, a little like, chewier. They're a bit stodgier. Yeah, but they are next level. Ultimately, pancake boss. Mm -hmm. Which is better? Bearing in mind that one was three times the price. 
mm. to make them. Ooh. Really? Those are the best. Mm. Really? They are good. You can tell with these videos, because I think it tends to be, Phoebe and Chloe tends to be like, yep, the more expensive ones are better, because they didn't have to pay for the ingredients. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if I had that mindset, I would agree with you. But if you're looking for a fluffy pancake, the cheap's done it. But for me, the texture, the lightness of that is amazing. I would pay double for it, but not three times the price. I'm going to go cheap. For me, it's steep because they're not as stodgy, they're lighter. They, they are and the amazing. the bacon isn't as um, salty. About three times worth the price for that? I mean, yeah, yeah they are, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the bacon is a massive difference. The blueberries, yeah. there is no difference whatsoever. The maple syrup, I don't think it, it was all in the spongy texture. So I think the eggs probably played a role. Mm hmm I really enjoyed this one. I did too. I like the idea of like the whole cakiness of it, the sweetness, the salt as well with the bacon involved too. Fun. Yeah. So, don't forget to check out the playlist for the rest of the Cheap versus Steep videos. Mm -hmm. Any other suggestions, Chloe? Easter eggs. Right. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for regular videos. Make sure the notifications are turned on so they tell you that there's a new video up. And most importantly, thank you as always for the support. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Got all the notes, baby, like a treble clef. Cooking up this song like the naked chef. I know what you're thinking, British guy drinking tea, but I'm gangster British, baby. I prefer chickpeas. If you have got an idea for future cheap versus steep videos, uh, do let us know. Uh, I was going to do bruschetta, but we were influenced by our daughter Chloe. Yeah. She's like pancakes. Like, that's pancakes. a good idea. It was, yeah. And we thought of meatballs as well. Meatball, yeah. With spaghetti. Donuts, something like that. But yeah. plenty of ideas. A roast dinner is still on the hit list. Oh, I don't want to do a roast dinner. I'm Why sorry, not? guys. <laughs> well, you don't want to do a roast. I love a roast, but, but I don't want to cook two. Yeah, at the same time, one. yeah. But what if we did it where we did it, yeah. and then we got some friends to do... The, the cheap and steep, and then we kind of did a big. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate.